what up everybody Cody coming at you with KO cards again we got another booster box opening of the Digimon set 1.0 so in case you missed the last video we're doing a voiceover for the pack openings because I didn't turn my mic on thank you for bearing with I appreciate it so see uh, see what we get here in the second box Yeah, we were playing, playing some games the weekend of the release, and I played some Blue Hanuman. It's a pretty good deck. Got a Myotis Mon, a Yamon, and Agumon. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. These packs are a pain in the butt to open, for real. Like the little perforated tear area it does not feel good opening. Opening a pack like Pokemon or Yu Gi Oh! Does not feel good opening. I don't think I've ever used scissors, but for your Digimon, I use scissors. Let's see, the art on that Where Guru on is so good. They did a really good job with that card. Got them smashed potatoes. Is that the Yoko Mon? Some shiny? It looks shiny. What do we got here? Yo! Alternate Art Diaboramon. Alright. I think Diaboramon has some potential to be a really good deck. Maybe in the future. I know Black's getting some support and uh, that BT4. Yeah, I dig it. I dig that card. If I can remember right, I think that sold on our uh, in an auction on the Digimon TCG auction center group for Facebook. The Volcano Digimon, it's a good staple. Growlmon, I'm really liking on the uh, the Gallimon deck right now. I think it's good. I think it's a good meta call. If you've got any tournaments coming up, uh, Black Taikamiya. Yeah, Gallimon. Gallimon's good. I played some Gallimon. I played some Blue Omnimon, Turbo. I think I'm going to mess around with Green here in the future. My, my brother Luke, he was playing Purple Value like all weekend. That deck is so good. Yeah, got a Devilmon. Those are always nice to see. Got a rare mon. The rare rare mon. Shield of the Just. So playing red, I feel like that card is really good. It's not Terror Force good. Um but it is really good. And the first build of red, I think I was trying to play three. And three felt like way too much. And then I switched it up to I had to cut one. And I still felt like two might be a little bit much, but when I cut it to one, I feel like I didn't see it enough. So I'm really between it, like one and two on Shield of the Just. Got a red deck profile coming up, red Gallant Mon. Uh, should be up within, I'd say hopefully the next three, four days. The Magna Geron, excellent staple. Low key, Magna Geron is really good. In purple. Oh, something there. Yo, got a War Greymon that is black. Nice SR. Blocker with revenge. And 
if you're gonna play black, you're definitely playing that card right now. But yeah, I uh, probably have a purple deck profile coming up here soon. I don't know which version of purple I want to do my first deck profile on. There's like three different ways to play the deck. You can comment down below if you have a preference on what purple deck you'd like to see. Oh, Gion. So salty that Renamon is not a card yet. Like, every time I watch a video or read something about set 1.5 four set coming out in Japan, or even a little bit of set five news is leaking right now. It's like, just show me Renamon. Show me that we're getting a Renamon. Oh wait, I wonder if this is... Alright, is it Trump Sword? That's a really good card. Trump Sword is what makes purple so good right now, in my opinion. So, I don't know if any of y'all have seen this yet, but I found myself a couple of, uh, like, misprints. The... The stamp is there, and it says that it's level 2, but there's no gold ink or whatever they use um, for foiling. I don't think it's ink. I could be wrong, but the stamp is there. You can see the stamp all the way through the back of the card, but there's no gold. And through this case, you'll see me probably like point out a couple more. I've miss I'm sure I've missed a couple, but yeah, I got those set aside in case... I decide I want to sell them or play with them. I'm not sure what box exactly because I sat down and we, we opened up like 10 boxes on camera and I was talking to the face cam and the face cam wasn't picking me up so we just didn't even use it and just doing a voiceover on all this stuff now. But uh, yeah, that the whole misprint thing kind of tripped me out. I, I haven't seen anyone else bring it up in the community yet so if you have them you know let me know which ones you got i think i have an upamon that i would like want to use oh oh what a busted pull so we got the blue metal garudumon it's like the lifeblood of the mid game of the blue on Mon turbo in my opinion um if your opponent knocks you off balance just a little bit like Blue Omnimon has a hard time coming back. And I feel like Metal Garurumon makes it so much easier to come back if you have the right rookies and the right champion. And you can you can win games you shouldn't win just because of that card. And over was it Plesiomon, the, the vanilla, I feel like I would cut a Plesiomon before I ever cut a fourth Metal Garurumon. That the deck draws so much, you don't need, in my opinion, you don't need so much value in Omnimon Turbo. Like you need, you need it, but you don't need that much of it. The Chumon. Ooh, Metal Seedramon. It's a good, good card to have in your binder or your box. I feel like I don't even want to keep my Digimon cards in a binder. I'm just gonna like sleeve them up and get an old shoe box and like I don't know put some dividers in there if you're season three fans from like Digimon Tamers with Renamon, Guillemon, and Terrieron like all the kids like sat in this weird little thing in a playground and just played Digimon cards it's kind of funny I feel like that's how I want Digimon to be like IRL I'm gonna go hang out at the park There's a Pagumon, best best rookie for now. Demi Miramon is much better, but I don't think we'll see him for a while. Magna Germon again. Got a Sora. And a Blue Gabumon, excellent. That card is legit. That is another reason Blue Omnimon is so good. If you guys need play sets of any commons or uncommons or rares, uh, you know, hit me up. Hit me up on Facebook. Uh, just KO cards, and uh, see if we can help you out. I'm doing play sets of commons, uncommons, and rares right now. 
sure we'll have some inventory left over. I try to hold on to some cards just to make it easy. There's a Patamon and a TK in the same pack. Man, I want to pick up yellow. I want to pick up yellow as a deck. It seems fun to play. It doesn't seem very competitive, but I could be wrong. I'm really excited to see this Bandai tournament go down. Uh, with the webcam Invitational. See what decks are really killing. Got an Impmon. That is some lifeblood for purple for sure. Another Gabumon, my Otismon. Like this pack was making me play purple. Ooh, there's some shiny. What do we find in here? What do we got? Yo, is that a Seraphimon or a Magnangemon? They kind of look similar. It's a Magnangemon, alright. See some people using that in yellow. I think it's a good, I think it's a good card. The alternate art of that card is beautiful. Monzimon, big old teddy bear with the hugs. Oh, Chimeramon, nice. And an Upamon. Busted pack. Busted pack. Upamon is by far the best blue Digitama you can play. And like a lot of purple decks play four chimera if, you, if you're not playing four you're probably playing three if you're not playing three chimera mon you're probably not playing purple so appreciating the artwork here on the packs the omnimon artwork is nice the dark masters is like just killer Dibormon, man the one with Gallimon on it is, is pretty good too. The artwork on the like the original SR Gallimon is so clean. I think it's one of the like the nicest cards in the set. Just throw in these cards. I can't hold on to a single card. What's going on? <coughs> Excuse me. Metal Tyranimon and an Izzy. Not bad, not bad. Where did I go? Oh, there I am. Fuck Energy Mod. That's a really good stable. Makes. Rookie Rush really stay in check. Akari and a Yokomon. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Looking for a little heat. Let's pull something good here. Vilemon. Vilemon is a good card. I think that's one of Purple's best tools. Another Upamon. This box is live. And something behind it. What? What is that? Oh, Zudamon. Alright. Um, so, I'm sure at this point, like, if you're interested in the Digimon videos and stuff, um, You've seen some blue Omnimon lists flowing around, and I can't really pick how I feel about this Zudamon in blue Omnimon Turbo. I think I've seen a couple deck lists with uh, playing two. I guess I I don't know. I tried it with two. I cut it to one almost immediately, and even even at one, I feel like I've seen it a lot. There's not a whole lot of 
big reasons to play this card in Blue and Moon Turbo, in my opinion. I could be wrong. I understand why people want to play it. Like, it adds consistency, and then you can just go right into another bigger guy, like, preferably Plesiomon, but... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I gotta test Blue Omnimon more. Sorry about all the shaking. We're renovating our studio, and I'm hoping we can have everything back to normal in, uh, in a couple weeks. Renovations are hard, and I'm working full time, so please bear with me. A Palmon and a Togemon in the same pack. Ikakumon. That pack is all about season one. A bunch of the main characters. The original anime was really fun. Uh, I've been rewatching it over on Hulu. Seems seems like the kids are enjoying it. Leomon was such a beast. Leomon was such a beast in the original anime. Oh, I'm getting wild. I'm getting wild trying to open the pack without scissors. The length of these videos is a little long too. I just wanted to show as many of the different cards as I could. That's another reason I'm organizing doing the videos so other people unfamiliar with the Digimon game can try to see and understand the polaroids a little bit more. A little flower cannon with something behind it? What is that? Yo, regular art Geobormon. Flower cannon too. Flower cannon is a really strong card. Yeah. Good card. I dig it. I wonder if you guys might want to take a minute to scroll down real quick, maybe click that like button. I sure would appreciate it. It, uh, it does help. It does help a lot more than a lot of people would think. Uh, if you want, consider subscribing. And, you know, you can check us out on Facebook. We sell Digimon cards. We talk Digimon cards. We also focus a lot on Pokemon, too. There's two flower cans back to back. Yeah, I'm a competitive Pokemon player. I've been at it since, like, 2016. Uh, came from Yu-Gi-Oh! And not being able to go to big events is not fun. But we do what we got to do. Hopefully we can get back to a normal society someday. Someday soon. Oh, something shiny again? This box is alright. Hercules Kabuterimon. It's a good beat card for green. I really should. I should build green. I don't build green. You guys are getting a green deck profile. Sometime. I can't give you a promise time away. But soon. But yeah, we come... I come from Pokemon. I think Pokemon's a good game. And the company is excellent. They do great surprise support. So if you're interested in Pokemon, we do cover Pokemon. We've got some Champion's Path openings. We've got some Hidden Fates openings. And... We're probably going to do some deck profile, probably some PTTGO gameplay. And when we get back to getting to a being able to go to events, definitely going to do some vlogs. Oh, there's a Puppetmon. Puppetmon's a good card. Keep four of them in your binder. Just in case. Just in case. Devimon and Demi Devimon. Dude, that Metal Tyranum, uh, or, I'm sorry, Metal Greymon is really good. Damn! Look at that! Oh! We were just talking about that. So that's the alternate art, uh, Magna Angemon. And that card is so, so nice. 
I think we're gonna have those, we're gonna have a couple of them up for sale on the TCG Auction Center group on Facebook. Probably by the time this video goes up, I decided that, yeah, I'm probably gonna hold them. Didn't want to, didn't want to. Somebody's probably gonna get lucky and win them low, but that's what KO Cards is about. We wanna really help the community. We want people to be able to get the cards that they want. So Digimon can take off as a game, maybe be in a contender for Pokemon someday. I want to see this game have longevity. I want to see a positive community. And, you know, I, I think this game is so fun to play. There's Mimi. That card's really good. <laughs> that card's really good. Like, so it lets, I can't remember the exact stipulation, but it lets you have an additional, like, raising phase. So you can flip another Digi Egg, or you can move somebody from your nurturing area back out, or back to the field again. So like, it's kind of like getting to play two supporters, in my opinion. If you, if you don't like Pokemon, or it's like an extra normal summon. If you come from Yu-Gi-Oh, it's it's kind of a big deal. There's another one of those cards. It's a rare that doesn't have the gold. It was stamped, but there's no there's no actual gold on the card. Yeah, it was really weird. I've seen some boxes had a couple, some boxes had one, some some had none. And it was all from one sealed case. So, yeah, you know, if that's happened to you, let me know. Let me know in the comments which one, like, what rare cards you have that don't have that gold stamp. You know, see if I can get a play set of unstamped Upamons. That'd be, that'd be cool. Wizardmon, Vilemon. Got the rare, rare mon. A rare, rare mon. With? Oh, nice! Nice! Purple Metal Guru mon. That card, that card is so good. I think it's gonna get way better. When, by the time we get the cards in, like, the fourth set over here in America, dude, Purple Metal Guru mon's gonna be killer. Right, so doing a quick little recap here. Purple Metal Garumon, the War Graymon that is black, a Hercules Kabuterimon, the Magnangemon, and the Alternate Art Magnangemon. Ah, the Alternate Art is so nice. The Metal Garudamon, a Metal Garurumon, and a Zudamon to help out that blue deck. Got a Diaboramon. And an alternate art deal warm on. Not too bad of a box. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you could, like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook. See you next time.